What's up guys, it is Jay Biebs here and welcome to another episode of the South End Road to Glory. In this video, we are traveling to Plymouth Argyle to play at the home park in the first round of the Carabao Cup. This will be a tough game for us and you true FIFA fans will know what I mean by that once you see what they, how they're going to be playing. We've had a decent start so far this season. However, it would be very nice, I think, if we were to have a little bit of a cup success this season. Don't know what it is. I'd just like to have just this first season, a little bit of cup excitement. So Plymouth Argyle, those are their players. I don't rec I recognize Connor Grant only because he used to play for Everton, but other than that, I don't recognize any of the players. Oh, no, I recognize Danny Mayer. But yeah, they're playing a 5-3-2. And all you FIFA fans out there, you know, no one wants to play against a 5-3-2. But, we've got a quite interesting and unique formation that it might actually just turn out and be a whole lot of chaos. So we are playing a custom formation. It's a 3-4-3 diamond, but the diamond, it's a midfield four. So there's no wingers, it's defensive mid, center mids, attacking mid. We play possession, very high pressing. Ideally, we live in their half. That's just kind of where I'd like things to be. Yeah, even though we are playing possession. Oh, geez. That was a good tackle. Uh, we're still are not afraid to go fast. All right, he, he is offside. This play style is inspired by whenever I was in high school or JV coach. This is the kind of formation style that we played. I think it's very good. I don't know how applicable it is to like higher levels. But I think it actually it would work pretty well. I believe. I physically don't know what my defender just did there. Yes, I would like to slow the game down. And look to get some possession. I mean, honestly, they're like all over us. There we go, baby. 1-0. Beautiful goal there, just spatial awareness. I mean, I, their center backs just drifted off of him. Got open in the box. Put it past the keeper. Nothing fancy to do. Mellis gets their first goal. South End United goal, number 29, Jacob Mellis. Good win there. So it looks like they're trying to play like pre they press after possession lost. Okay, I just I just spent like the last day or so recording a series which I think is out on my channel by now. Uh, I did a Champions League series with FC Porto. And so transitioning back to like League Two style and technical ability. Okay, are all, are all of our players just slow or are their players insanely fast? So it just seems like they're just flying at us nonstop. And we just can't. We don't have time to react. Good save there from the keeper. Good save. Oof. Risky that one. 
Offside. Ah, he's kept it onside. Literally half of our team is just standing around. Half of our team is standing around not doing anything. Like watch this replay, watch looking over there the ball near the halfway line. You can see there, you can count. One, two, three guys just standing there doing nothing. Unbelievable. These are the type of stupid goals that are going to cost us this game. I think it just confirmed the 5-3-2 is the ultimate formation. Okay, what is our center back's pace? I swear it has to be like easily below 60. Has to be way below 60. 66, really? What's your defensive awareness? 60, 57, 60. Alright, I also wanted to change something. No, it wasn't this. Yeah, I want to go back to the classic. It's just the best. My first FIFA I really played console was FIFA 16. And I was I was terrible at FIFA 16. FIFA 17 was really whenever I actually started like playing good FIFA. I mean FIFA 16, I, I was horrendous. I just play a 4-2-4. I just make sure every single one of my teams had. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd even end up playing, like, strikers as wingers. You're seeing this, right? Like, we're missing passes. Unpressured to our wingers. Who is just standing there. Like, I'm not even... Saying, we're, not, we're not even... It's not like we're playing bad. I think FIFA literally just has code scripted in. So if you if you play a 5-3-2, everyone... You automatically win. How are these, how are their players so fast? Like, I think that's our fastest, our second fastest player there, in our center mid. And he just got caught by one of their center backs. Play the attacking mid, Ferguson. Why are you playing? Why, are you, why is that through ball going to the striker? Sir, some of these players have to be left footed. I'm just not seeing it. Everybody's a righty. 
So then why are you guys missing so many of these passes so badly? It's not even like the, that they're... Like, are you kidding me? We're just passing around in our half just to circulate the ball, see if anything pops up. Yes, I'm taking Lennon off right now. You mess up that badly, you're benched. Like, I don't have any runs coming from anybody. How is he getting that wide open? Make a run, Nathaniel George. Where is my CDM? Yeah, it's supposed to be staying back and man marking. So why, why are you not sitting on their strike on one of their strikers? How did we not get that ball? I swear the players just forgot how to play. There we go. See, like, literally, once we have, like, an ounce of time on the ball, one of those, that run opens up, and we're able to find it. But for some reason, our players just don't want to have any time. They just want to, like, have, like, their first touch, I don't understand where it went. They feel like if I'm touching sprints, even the slightest, while well, they have the ball, it's an automatic turnover. That was a bad ball, but that was the right idea. Like, are their strikers really that fast? Nathaniel George, don't clear out for a corner. If literally had five corners and we've had zero. If the ball's out of out of one of our players, you need to go for it. Tremendous block. It looks promising. It has to be. Oh, 
Is he on side? There we go. See, look at this. When we are able to actually play our style, we have perfect results. Second half, since we made it that adjust, adjustment or two. Since we could let our players get on the field, our players allow have the freedom to play. We scored two goals in a row. Get it out. It's a foul, please. Not to be advised, giving the ball away there. Just looking fast. And space to cross it. Grant. That's a useful cross. Play him in. Oh, he just pulled a hammy. Well, oh, I need him to stay on because I think this is going straight to penalties. Right, first round goes right to penalties after game is over. Okay, I'm truly scared of them scoring. One minute remaining. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Put that in. Ah. Uh, okay, thank you. What? Offsides, okay, good. Anything to slow the game down. Blow that whistle. Anytime now. Thank you, referee. You know, it's kind of sad when we're, we scored the last two goals. <laughs> Nine to four shots. You know, it's kind of bad when we scored the last two goals and because of the, the of the momentum we want it to go to penalties Dimitri has taken number five Melis has taken three that's the order let's go now we're going first he's gonna go to the right that's not the right all right Oh, he's going into the stands. Rule number one, hit the target. He's gone for the punish, but he might be wishing he had a small I swear, do their keepers just not not dive? In it goes. Well that's why players practice penalties in training. And off the Oh my goodness. Well, the, their keeper's literally not moving. You've got to save that, dude. Yeah, it's so difficult for keepers. He gets the right way and he just inches away. And the penalty converted here. Well, that's hours of practice, Derek. Lolos, you're terrible and you have a stupid name. And you've got to say that you missed. All right, Dimitri, don't screw this up. There we go. That was nervy. I saw he was looking that way, but I thought he would be bluffing. I don't like. And I guess we're just not. We're not good enough for penalties. Stop showing me this stupid replay. 
I know, I lost. Still blame it on that one center back. I don't know his name. I don't even care to know it. He screwed us up. He screwed us over. Hi, sorry. Can we just grab a moment of your time? All right, let's attend the stupid press conference. Right, Mel's played amazing. It's just that. That'll be all. Thank you so much. No one else really seemed to uh want to do that either. So one thing I am gonna do is I'm actually gonna sim this game. Like I know we're facing second place and all, but it's two games in. It's not really a title race right now. I'm actually going to send the game to see how the team, like how the computer would play this style. You know, like, are they actually going to, are they actually going to like obey the instructions? Are they going to, you know, are they going to actually play the formation or are they going to do the 343 uh, diamond that FIFA has implemented? That's the thing I'm interested about. It kind of looks like they're actually obeying our. Making progress. And options in the center. Ooh, nice move. So I think they're actually like. Formation wise, they're actually obeying the formation. Which I like to see. There we go. Yep. Alright. Well. This is a little interesting experiment. Glad to see it's working out. I was hoping Nathaniel George could actually get there. Sean Long. Thomas. May. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Good save, uh, I'm assuming. It would be nice to win because that means we're heading in the right direction. I mean, if, th if we win this game, we've won our. That means we would have won our first three games. Well, maybe we'll win this game. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty even game, actually. We're just not exactly being on the lucky side of things. Defensively and did his job. Can they get in the 
fine. Score. Seriously. Could we just... Could we get in our goal? I think I feel like we got one so quick so early. forward there. Still trailing, but oh, there's two people in the box. To keep it, but I think we jump in in the next stoppage. Or, or not. Or not, we're good. Aqua with the goal. Alright, I guess we don't have to jump in anymore. I was going to say, oh, let's just jump in for the last couple of minutes, hope we can get something lucky to happen. Guess we don't need to. Alright, yeah, I mean, I'll take, I'll take a draw against second place in the league. I'm not going to deny that. So, yeah, we're still top of the league. All right, good. Ambrose is now officially a center back. Along with Powell. And there was one other player, right? Yes. So he's working on that, Ambrose. See, so what does he need to work on defensively? Actually, I mean, there's nothing big. I mean, heading accuracy and receptions are bad, but those will just develop with time. And then Powell. Yeah, I mean, again, just stuff that's going to develop over time. All right. Glad to see our youth academy starting to come together a little bit. Actually, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to switch our winger, wingers and strikers to get in behind. Because usually if they, don't make, if they don't make that initial run to get in behind, then they usually just decide, alright, cool. They run in behind, they're not there, then they drop off and get the ball. I just hate when they just don't do anything and they just stand there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be selling my uh, starting striker. I'm interested in getting rid of a couple of other players if you're interested. Alright, we're going to play all the starters for this game. This is a big game. We'll probably put a couple of players from the subs bench on for the next one against Tranmere. We lost 4-1. to one. Not good. Not good at all. Well, easy substitution. Move some of those players around a little bit. Hold on, is that good chip guy? Is he ours? Or I think he's in on loan. Oh, he's not. He's one of ours. Alright, I thought he was... I thought he was in on loan. All right, yeah, another tough game. I just realized we have a pr we had a pretty tough, at least for this season, we've had a pretty rough start to the campaign.
Oh. I'm trying to think, maybe those uh, early victories were uh, flukes. Because we lost two games in a row now. I will start Hackett Fairchild for a game. Actually, maybe I should take off the get in behind stuff. That, that's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. Cause, I mean, usually they run in behind. So, I don't know. I spent time. I made this, made this style. I sh probably should not second guess myself and change it. We have another tough game against Bolton. Uh, no, Pritchard is our starting center back. So, I don't, I don't. I usually don't sell my starters. I know it's a pretty crazy concept. All right, Aqua is requesting to play, so we're going to play him. Because for some reason FIFA thinks that since I'm being a good manager, that's going to automatically make me more likely to win this game. I do not know why. But uh, for some reason it does. Wow, they're 21st? They're, Thanks for joining us. We're the, now ready for questions. I think pretty sure overall wise they're one of the better teams. Tied 1 1. Not good enough. And we have a big cup game in the Papa John's trophy. Alright, yeah, I think I said that one at EFL. But yeah, be right. Papa John's owns the rights to now. Yep. Yeah, I'll think. I think we're done with transfers. No. I want someone to loan our two players. Because... He does not fit in the team. And he's one of our better players. And he's one of the best overalls. I think I might just start sticking him at center back. Cause I, cause I don't think there's enough time left to loan him out. Yep. So I think he's just gonna be forced to start playing center back now. Tried to loan him out. Nothing worked. Just gonna have to face the harsh reality that he's a center back now. Alright. Aw, you're kidding me, Ambrose's potential went down. That's so dumb. His potential went down. Why does it. It's so dumb how he. You have to wait for the beginning of the new month for the potential to change. 
But his, I think his, his go up, Powell's went up, I know that. Ooh. Ah, oh, B's got the finesse shot. One star weak foot, we'll leave him. We'll leave that man to develop. Over a billion dollars was spent. Alright, well. Uh, I guess that's our new starting back line. So yeah, I guess this is how we're going to be. This is, this is how we're going to be lining up as we head into that game against Colchester United. But that it will be played next episode. But I hope you all have enjoyed. Hope you all will subscribe to this channel. And so that way you can see the rest of how the series goes. I hope to see you then. And it is JBeebs signing off.